so we will start now. Okay, so here we are. So our topic for today is this is the last topic for the divisions. Okay, so we will proceed to our next topic next year. Okay, so our topic for today is about the creating word problem involving division. So it means in our problem, we will use the operation of division. That, that one, so our, oper our operation that we will use is only division, no other than. So that is why creating word problem involving divisions okay so now it means creating word problem so we have to make a sentence in english okay <clears throat> excuse me so we have to make a sentence problem okay using the words okay so see this one is a little bit hard okay so, to make it easy for you, you have to, in this topic, uh, you will not make, but you have to arrange the sentence. So, so, I will give you a sentence and you have to arrange, okay? So, I will give you a um, clue, okay? So, let's proceed. So, in creating word problem involving division. So, first... In creating word problem, we have the steps, right? So, in your book, so that is page 213, 213, that in your page, in your book, it said that there are steps, okay, steps in creating a story. So, let's talk about this one. Idea, okay. So, first steps in creating a story is, step one is, Think of a math idea. So we have to think. So what will be what will be the idea? What is that? Okay, so that will be our first step. For the given, so it's already uh for example we have the given in your book there, we have five hundred and sixty-four, right? Five hundred and sixty-four. So this is the given. Number so already given numbers it means 564 and 3 so we think of an idea about this number so what ideas that we will do to make it a sentence from this number from these two numbers okay so we think of an idea so think of a math idea step two so in step one first so the math idea is we can multiply okay this is not multiply this is divide so i forgot to change so this is divide okay okay the my idea is we can divide the numbers because this uh topic is we have division so it means the operation that we will use is division Okay, so this one. So the math idea is we can divide the number. So here we can divide the numbers 564 divided by 3. So that is the math idea. And step 2, here in your book, if you can you can follow, step 2 is what is in the step 2? Who can read in the step 2? What is there in your book? Step two is to make make a story using the given number. So it means we will make a story. So from this given number. So this is the given number 564 and 3. So we will make a story. So in your story there, so we have the example there. So for example, we have um, there are 564 oranges or there are 564 apples or there are 560. 
tip for watermelon. So that is an idea. And the number of, so here in your answer here, the number of oranges is three times the numbers of apples. Okay, so that is, so look at in your book, that is page 213. So that is the step two, okay? So first step two is make a story using the given number. And step three, so what is in the step three there? We can ask the question. So, so we already make a story. So it means we can ask the question. It means the questions at the end we have here, right? So in the example, you have how many apples are there? So in you, can you follow step three there? So you have here in your book, page 213. So in your book here, it said the question is how many apples are there? Okay, so that is the question. So we can we can we can identify that is a question because we have this symbol. Okay, this symbol is a question. Okay, it's easy for you to um, understand uh, where is in sentence problem you can identify which is questions okay so you just look at the question symbol okay or the question mark symbols okay so in step four so we have so here in question that in step three questions and the division story so it means here in step two we have already made a story using the given numbers, right? So it means we have to combine, okay? So we have to combine the question and the story that we have to make, okay? So don't you worry, we can understand this one of what I'm talking later, okay? So we just talk about the steps. And the last one here is step four. So here is step four, we work out the answer. So it means we work the answer, so we will answer, so we will divide, okay, so we will answer, we will answer the given number sentence here, okay, so that is the meaning of step four, we work out the answer. So for example here, so I have here, so right, so I have here 564, so divided by three. So there are, so this is in your book, so there are 564 oranges and the numbers of oranges is three times the number of apples, okay? So there are oranges, okay? So they have, so how many oranges? How many, how many oranges? How many oranges do we have here? We have? Okay. We have 564. Okay. And the number of oranges is three times. So it means it's bigger than the number of apples. So it's here the number of oranges is three times the number of apples. Apple. So it means the apple is bigger, is more than, than the oranges. Okay, so it means we have to divide the, because we know that the operation that we will use is division. So in your book, so the question here again, so how many apples are there? So we can know this is the question. This is the question of our problem because we have the question mark. Okay. So we can, it's easy to locate or easy to recognize where is the question in the sentence problem. Okay. So this, you, shall, you should always uh, look at the symbol. So it means if you look the symbols, so this will be the questions of the sentence. So always, so look at here. 
and making a sentence or creating a sentence, a word problem. Look at here. The questions sentence is always in the last. Okay, so look at here. The questions is always in the last. Okay, so that is easy. Okay, it's easy for you. So the question is always in the last sentence. Okay, so look at here in the sentence. So there are 564 oranges. So this is the first sentence. The second sentence is the number of oranges is three times the number of apples. So this is two. Okay, we have one sentence. The one sentence is there are 564 oranges. The second sentence is the number of oranges is three times the number of apples. So it means we can easy, it easy to arrange, okay? Because you will not, in our activity today, you will not, um, you will not make a, send a word sentence, you just arrange it, okay? You will arrange the sentence. So easy for you, you just look. So the first sentence, look at here. You just follow the number. So the first number, the given number here is 564. So it means the first sentence, it should be on first given number, okay? The given number here. This is one number and the second numbers, right? The given number. So in first sentence, you just follow the first number, okay? So you can easy to arrange the sentence. So there are... 564 oranges okay so that is the first sentence and the second sentence so we know that the second number the second given number is three so it means this will be the second sentence okay so this is the second sentence so the number of oranges is three times the number of Apple. So that is how you will arrange. Okay, we'll have arranged the sentence. We will not make a, we will not create a sentence. You just arrange the sentence. So again, you follow, you follow the given number. Okay, the given number here. So this is the first given number and the second given number. So it means this, the first here it will be the first sentence and the second number here will be the second sentence and again the question sentence is always in the last so look at here this is the last one so this is three so look at here the first is one there are 564 because we follow the first given number okay and the second is we all again we follow the number so here the second the number of oranges is three times the number of apple and the last sentence is the question mark okay last sentence this is last sentence okay the last sentence is always the question sentence it means we have the question of symbols, okay? So that is how you will arrange, okay? We only arrange the sentence. Okay, so next. So we answer here. So we have to answer. So 564 divided by 3. So in your book, the answer is 180. So first, you have to write the number sentence. So 164 divided by 3. So that will be equals 188 apples. Okay, apples because the question here is how many apples are there? So it means there are 188 
apples. Okay, so we'll proceed to the next. We have to practice, okay? So you have to practice. So the first year, so can you get the notebook? Okay. Can you get the notebook? So we have here, get your notebook. So we have the given number here is... Okay, we have the given number 135 bath and 5 months. Okay, so remember that I told you. So this is the first sentence. So the first given number, I mean, and the second given number. So it means in our first given number, it will be the first sentence. Okay, so this one is a little bit hard. Okay, so because I cut all this one. So first, so the name here is Netnapa. Okay, so Netnapa wants wants to save want to save money. Okay. So want to save 135. So look at here. So we have here Netnapa want to save 135 baht. So look at here. The first sentence here is Okay. So we in this sentence we join we join the first given number and the second number. So it seems like this. It should be the first here. Okay, same like this. First is 135, the second is 5 months. Even they are in the sentence, it should be the first. You just follow the first given number. So always follow the first given number and you follow the second. So always first, one, and two. So that will be always the first, okay? Always first given number when you have in the number sentence. So we have here, Netnapa wants to save 135 baht in five months. So this is the second given number. And this one is the first given number. And the question here is how much? Okay, can you see? The question is always in the last sentence, okay? The question is always in the last sentence, okay? Again, the question is always in the last sentence. It's easy if we have this symbol, okay? Look at here. This symbol is always last in the sentence, okay? It means this symbol is a question mark or question sentence. So here, Netnapa wants to save 135 baht in 5 months. So what is the given number sentence? What is the given, what is the number sentence? I mean, what is the number sentence? Who can, who can answer what is the number sentence? What is the number sentence here? We can answer. So again, we have the number, the given number is 135 baht and 5 months. So what is our given number sentence? Okay, or what is the number sentence? Who can answer? Number sentence. Who can answer the number sentence? I will give five points. Who can answer the number sentence? Look at the given, the given number. We have 135 baht and five months. So what is the number sentence there? How you will answer?
Okay, try to answer. Don't be shy. So the given number sentence is 135 divided by 5. Okay, so what is the answer if we divide 135 divided by 5? What is the answer? One hundred thirty five divided by five. What is the answer? Who can answer? Twenty seven. Okay, very good. So the answer is twenty seven. So it means she need to save 27 baht each month. Okay, so that is the question. Okay, next here we have here. Okay, so we have to arrange. Okay, we have to arrange. So can you arrange this one? Okay, again... Look at the questions. Okay, we have the given number here. We have the three given numbers, 620, 10, and 2. So, can you arrange this one? Again, you follow the number. Okay, you follow the numbers. It means this is the first, second, and third. And again, I told you the first, the last sentence, it should be the question mark, the question sentence. Okay, so can you answer this one? You arrange the sentence. So what is the first sentence here? What is the first sentence? What is the first sentence here? Again, you follow the number, the given number. This is the first, second, and third. So which is the first sentence? Okay, so can you write this one in your notebook and answer and arrange and we will check it. Okay, write the correct sentence, write the correct number. So did you understand here? Can you follow me? So what will be the first sentence here? Who can tell? Is it this one? One, two, three, four. Which is the first sentence? One, two, three, four. Is 
Which is the first sentence? Okay, very good. The four. Because we, again, I told you, the first, you just follow the given number here. So, it means this is one. The next one is two. So, here in one sentence, we have the given. There are 620 wines were packed in two boxes. Ten. So, it means we already have one and two. The given here is one. The given number is here. One and two. So, what will be the second sentence? So, this is our first sentence, okay? This is our first sentence. Okay. What will be the second sentence? Is it one, two, or three? Okay, remember in one sentence, we have already the given number, the two given number. So what will be our second sentence? What number? One, two, or three? Three. Three. One, two, or three? Three. Three? Two. Two. Very good. Two. So look at here. The number, the boxes were delivered in two shops. So this is the last one here. The given number here is here, the 2. Because in one sentence, look at here, in here, first sentence, we already have the given number is 620, 620, and 10. So the next one, the next, sen the next sentence, it will be the 2. Okay, again, you follow. We already finished the 620. In one sentence. So, the left here is two. So, it means the second sentence is the boxes were delivered to two shop. So, the next sentence, what will be? One or three? One or three. Okay, very good. One. Three. One. One. Three. One, the last. And three. the last one is three. The last three. sentence is three. Very good. Three. So it means we have here our, there are 620 wines were packed in two boxes tent. So the boxes were delivered to two shops. So look at here. The first and Second and third. So in one sentence, we have the two given number. So look at here. And here. And number, the last sentence, the second sentence here is the, the given number, I mean, is the two shop. So again, we, you follow the number. You follow the given number, okay? So, and the last one is each shop receive an equal number of boxes. It means we have to find the sentence because equal, it means we have to divide. Okay, we have to divide. So, and the last one is the how many boxes of wine that each shop receives. So, it means... Always the last one is have the question symbol or the question mark. So the last sentence in this problem 
it should be the question sentence okay so we have the symbol like this so it means what will be the answer how to answer what is the number sentence how how you will write the number sentence how you will write the number sentence who can answer Okay, so when you write the number sentence, it should be 620 divided by 10 divided by 2. Okay, so the answer is, what is the answer? If we divide 600, 620 divided by 10 and divided by Okay, very good. The answer is 31. One. Very good. So it means the question here in the sentence is how many boxes of wine did each shop receive? So how many? How many boxes of wine? Okay, it's 31. Okay, so each shop will receive 31 boxes of wine. Okay, so again, we have another example. So we have here the number sentence here is 4,000 divided by 5 is equal to blank. Okay, or box, a note. So what will be our number? What will be our first sentence? What is our first sentence? Two. One. Two. <laughs> what is it? One. One, One. Or two. One, one. Okay, the answer one, is two. One, two. Two. Huh? The answer is two. So look at here again, the given number here. Look at the given, always look at the given number. So it means there are 4,000 apples. So what will be the second sentence? Number one or number three? One. Okay, very good. The, the second sentence is number one. So there are 4,000 apples to be placed equally and... Okay, so this is 25. Sorry. This is 25 box, basket. Okay, so we have here... So this is the complete number, a uh, complete sentence. Okay. The last sentence, the questioned sentence. What will be the question sentence? Who can read? How many apples were wow. mm. me in his market? Okay, very good. So, how many apples will be in each basket? Very good. So, it means this sentence, this is the question sentence. It means this is our last. Okay, so it means the first is there are 4,000 apples to be placed equally in 25 basket. And the question is, how many apples will be in each 
basket. So, this is how we will arrange. Okay. So, look at here. So, this is 25. So, there are 4,000 apples to be placed equally in 25 basket. Okay. The question here is how many apple? How many apples will be in each basket? Okay. So what is our given sentence? Number sentence. What will be our number sentence? Who can answer number sentence? What is our number sentence? Okay, don't be shy. What is our number sentence? Anybody to answer? Okay, you can write. Yes, I will allow. I will allow you to write in my screen. Okay, who can write? Two hundred and sixty. Okay, so what is our number sentence first? What is our number sentence? What is our number sentence? You can answer. Number sentence. What will be our number sentence? No one. The okay, our number sentence is very good, 4,000 divided by 25 is equals to? So how much is it? 4,000 divided by 25. So this is our number sentence. If teacher Mary will ask you, what is our number sentence? Okay, so it, this one is our number sentence. So what is the answer again? I hear already the answer. What is it again? Okay. 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 Okay, 100. Okay, very good. 160. Very good. So there are 160 apples that will be placed in each basket. Okay, again, when we when you arrange the number, when you arrange the sentence. You follow the given number. Okay? The given number. You follow. So, look at here. The first year is 4,000. And the second will be 25. And always the last is the question sentence that have a question mark. So, always this is will be the last. Always last. Okay? And if teacher Mary will ask you, what is the given, what is the number sentence? The number sentence is 4,000 divided by 25 is equals to, okay, so that is the given sentence. So this one is like, this is the example of given sentence, 4,000 Divided by 25 is equals to blank. Okay, so this is the given sentence or number sentence. Again, number sentence. If teacher Mary will ask you what is the number sentence, number sentence is 
thousand divided by twenty five equals to blank or box or question mark. Okay, so that is the number sentence. Okay, so let's have here another example. Okay, we have another example. Who can answer? Who can answer? Can you write this one in your notebook? And we will check it. Again, you follow. What will be the answer? The first, this is number one, two, three, four. So what is the first sentence? Four. Okay, four. very good. Four. Okay, this is our first sentence. Second. What number? One, two, three. 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 Very good. This is our second sentence. One, this is, okay, this is first sentence and this one, second sentence. So what will be the third sentence? One or three? Two. Two. One or two. Okay, very good. Da? Two, so this is our third and what is always the last sentence? Oh. Ah, teacher, load ba? Teacher, may na load. You listen you. Hello, darling. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Hear me now. Wait for a while. โอ้โกดปิดอู้หนูไม่ใช่ในโกดเมื่อกี้ครับโอเคโอเคต่อเลยเนาะ So again Okay so again here so it means if we are this sentence so we know this. okay so the first one is a school has 808 chairs the second is the chairs are divided into four classroom and the second is there are two chairs in each set and the last will be 
how many sets of chairs does each classroom have? Okay, so that is the answer. So we have here a classroom has 808 chairs. 808 chairs. The chairs are divided into four classrooms. So there are two chairs in each set. How many sets of chairs um, the number sentence? What is the number sentence? Who can answer number sentence? What is our number sentence? Who can answer? Is our number sentence? Okay, eight hundred eight divided by four. Four divided by two. 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 So here, so this is our number. So what will be the answer if we divide 808 divided by 4 divided by 2 is equals to 100? 101. Very good. 101. Okay, very good. So it means each classroom has... 101 sets of chairs okay so don't forget again to arrange you follow the number here and the top so the first here so look at here first sentence the second sentence is here the se third sentence is here and always the last one is the question sentence that we have the symbols of question mark okay and we write the number sentence like this so you just copy here and answer the number sentence okay so we have here another Okay, so let's proceed to your activity 216. So look at here, this is a blank. So you have to write here, you have to arrange the sentence, okay? So you have to arrange the sentence and write the number sentence. So for example, we have here 2,240 and 8. And we have to arrange this one. So can you answer this one? So what will be the first one? It is the same. The one that I teach you earlier.
So what will be the first one? So we have here the names. So we have Tirapon. So this is the first. Finish? No, sorry. So you will write. So we paid. You? We paid. You check? You check? Page 216. Page 216. Okay, can you answer this one? Or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Can you arrange this one? Yes or no? Don't be shy. If you don't know, yes, no, teacher, I don't know. I cannot arrange. Yes or no? Can you arrange this one? Yes or no? Can you arrange? So here, tear up ones, ones, two, same with the last that I give you, the, the example. You remember the example that I give you earlier? This is the same. I, I just changed the name. The first name, the another example that I give you earlier is Nat Napa, right? So I changed it and also the number. Can you answer this one? Yes or no? So I will give you, so you listen, okay? I will read. I will tell you. Nine, two, three. Save. Two thousand. And two thousand. Two hundred and forty. Two but in eight months. Very good. So it means the first sentence is Tirapon wants to save 240 baht in each month. Okay, very good. So this is the first sentence. Tirapon wants to save 200, uh, 2,240 baht in eight, in eight months. So that, what is the question? How you arrange this question? Yes? Mama, now she need to save each month. Each month. Okay, very good. So, if we write this one in, sent, in complete, Tirapon wants to save 2,240 baht in 8 months. So, how much does she need to save equally each month? So, this is the number. This is our sentence. So, can you write here in your, in your book? Answer that one. And write the number sentence. So, what is our number sentence? Who can tell me what is the number sentence? What is our number sentence? Two 
Okay, very good. Okay, so that is our number sentence. So what will be the answer if we divide 2,240 divided by 8? The answer to 200. 280. Okay, very good bonus. So this is the answer if we divide 2,240 divided by 8 is equals to 280. So it means she need to save 280 baht. Okay, so I think it's already time. So, so I will give you homework this one. Okay, only this one. So you will answer this one in your book. Okay, page 216. So I will give you homework about this one. So you arrange this. And you answer what is the number sentence. And you answer the number sentence. Write the number sentence. Same here. Same like this. Number sentence and answer. Okay. So first you arrange this sentence. Okay. It's don't show why because it's already in the... It's record, so you can have to look at. Okay, so it's already time. So 